Hello everyone. In this short lesson, we're going to go over how to sort strings using the string R library. So we're going to start by loading in the tidyverse and just some data to sort. So we have a vector of length three saying sort me please. And first we're going to show how to actually find the order that would cause it to be sorted alphabetically. So to do that, you can use the stir underscore order function. So when you run that, it'll show us the indices <laughs> that would order it in the proper order for it to be sorted. So it's saying that index two would be the first one in alphabetical order, which it is. Index three is the second one, and index one is the last in alphabetical order. Now we could use this ordering we just extracted to actually go ahead and order the data in the proper order through indexing. So that's what we're doing here. We're indexing into the data with that ordering that we just made. And if we do that, it will essentially sort the data for us. But this is a little bit messy looking, so you can do it directly with the function stir sort instead. So stir sort essentially did exactly what we just did above without having to explicitly do the indexing yourself. So if we run stir sort on the data, we'll get the same result. And finally, if you want to sort the data, but in decreasing or descending order of alphabetical order, you can use the argument decreasing equals true. So when you run that, it'll do the same thing, but just essentially reverse the order. That is the basics of sorting strings with string R. In the next lesson, we're going to go into string interpolation.